Hi, welcome. In this video, I want to talk about more about the body of intellectual property sales agreement. If you have seen this video for the first time, please watch the other videos, otherwise it's difficult for you to follow this video. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe will help me a lot. I will appreciate it. I'm waiting. Okay, let's start. So last time we talked about the intro. Now we're going to talk about the body. I'm going to show you some things that you can put in a contract so you can have a general idea. If I have an EPL sales agreement, I can put this in a contract and this is something really important and why it's important. So if you look at here, you see definition. That's the first article. And why you put definition there, it's important that when you create a contract, you know exactly when you talk about the word, what it means. So for example, if they talk about technology in this contract, technology means what is owned by seller and sold to buyer. So you have technically an attachment where you put exactly what the technology is. It can be through a picture, it can be through description, doesn't matter as long it's clear what you're talking about, about technology. Because when you transfer the intellectual property, this is just the formal part. There are other stuff that you need to do in order to get your hands on the intellectual property for example if you have a trademark you can have an agreement between you and another company but you need to still go to the trademark institution to transfer the trademark and you need the cooperation of someone else to do it otherwise it's going to be really difficult so technology is a good definition to put in it another one is intellectual property rights so if you are transfer rights you need to make sure what are you transfer it's not like you always transfer all patents trademark and copyright no 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 doesn't work like that because there will be sometimes that you have only trademarks there will be sometimes you only have copyrights or other small rights you need to be exactly clear what kind of rights you are transfer to another person and here you put it exactly so you put intellectual property rights when I talk about that, it means this, yeah? Most people keep it like this, but that's not, it's not, it doesn't work like that because sometimes you will may have trademark and copyright, but you don't have any patent. It's not registered. So most people keep it like this, but it's most time it's not right. So you need to change this in your situation, for your situation. If you don't do that well, you have a problem. So that's kind of thing that you can put in it. And documents, if you talk about documents, or to know how documents, you can make sure that when you transfer that intellectual property that you have the correct document in order to get those right. Or when someone uses your right, if you buy something, you want to go after them and you need to make sure that you have the right documents. So that's why you put here exactly documents, technical information, know how. Yeah, all those things you put it in here and here you explain it. So here you see. The definition is really nice. It gives a clear um, image on what you're getting and what it is, and that's why you put it in there. So that's the first part. Um, if you have question about it, what you can do is just go on a Discord, and then in a Discord, you can ask me a question directly. So in a Discord, you can create a support ticket, and a support ticket, I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. So if you're new to this channel and you like this video, seriously, like it subscribe also i will appreciate it and i hope you have a nice day see you next one bye bye